Hey, Coach Greg here at Svelte Training. Today we're doing best exercises for posture. If you find yourself sitting a lot during the day or being hunched over or feeling like you have a lot of back pain, neck pain, all of it, this will help. These exercises are gonna help with your posture, make sure you're standing up tall. It's gonna help with any muscle fatigue, all of that. So if any of that strikes your fancy, let's get started. We're gonna be doing two sets. The first set is gonna be me more explaining and demonstrating the exercises as you follow along, while the second set will be a more complete run through of all the exercises. So if you feel like you have a grasp of everything, feel free to skip ahead to that second set. But if your back hurts, if your neck hurts, if you have poor posture, let's just get into this set right now. Now, poor posture usually results from sitting around, being hunched over, and sometimes when we like, are in that hunched position, it weakens our chest muscles, it weakens our upper neck and uh, upper shoulder muscles, which causes our larger back muscles to have to take most of the load to keep us upright, which causes so much fatigue and tension, back pain, all of that. So we really want to get rid of all of it right here, right now, and we're gonna start with sun salutations. This is a great uh, yoga exercise, but you can apply it to everything because it works out at all. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna stand feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna stand up tall, stand up straight as much as you can. We are going to bring our hands right over our head, reach as far as you can, and then we're gonna start uh, hinging from our hips. And as we do, we're gonna open up that chest with those arms, really hinging down into a forward fold, uh, and really just like round the back. Try to touch the ground, try to grab your toes if you can. If you have to bend your knees, do so. But you're really just gonna feel a stretch all the way from your calves to your hamstrings, to your glutes, to your back, arms, all of it. And then we're gonna raise right back up, reach again to the sky and open up that chest, right back down to the ground. Let's put 30 seconds on. Again, go at your own pace, feel comfortable. The goal isn't to like force yourself into any positions. We just wanna loosen up the body, feel good about it. We wanna flow. Here we go, 30 seconds. And we're going up, hands, reach, reach, reach. Stand tall, bring those shoulders back. Chest open, forward fold over. I like to balance at the bottom here. Sometimes, um, you know, alternate bending my knees. Let me go right back up, reach. Forward fold again. Slow or fast pace, whatever you feel like you need to do. Really open up that chest, pull those back muscles. Here we go. We're gonna do one more here. Reach, 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 reach. And forward fold. Here you go. Three, two, and one. Great job. We're gonna do standing chest stretches. There's many variations of how to do this. Um, the main goal is we really want to, again, if you're used to being hunched over a desk, you wanna open up that chest. A great way to do that is to uh, take your hands, try to, you can grab them behind you, clasp them behind you as so. The goal is you really just wanna like pull your shoulders back like really proud chest, pull your shoulders back and try to grab your hands if you can. If you can't, just really stand like this. But the goal is to grab your hands and pull your hands down. And as you do, you're gonna see, feel your chest just like open up. We're going for 30 seconds, but let's see if we can pulse with it. Again, we don't wanna hold a position that's uncomfortable or we, we don't want any pain. We don't wanna you know, hurt ourselves here. The goal is just to ease into these exercises. Um, and you can do these wherever you are, wherever long you want, like throughout your day. So like the goal is just to like pepper your day with just like different uh, muscle uh, stretches and things like that. So. Uh, that as time goes on, your muscles get stronger, more loose, more flexible, the whole nine yards. So for this, really just focus on grabbing your hands and we just were pulling back, shoulders out, proud chest. Uh, 30 seconds on the clock and here we go. Grab your hands, pull shoulders back, open up that chest, make sure you're breathing. There it is. If you wanna collapse, you, you, see, you see how it is normally and then you Open up the shoulders, pull them back, open up that chest, exactly, just like that. You can release, hunch back over like here, open it up. And if you can't grab your hands behind, you can have your, uh, your arms open like this. I like, this just helps me remember like to open, pull my shoulders back, but you can do both. We're gonna do one more right here. There it is, really, really open, 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 and release. 
All right, next we have forward folds. We kind of did this with sun salutations, but now we're really focusing on holding that stretch at the bottom. We're gonna want to stand, you can do feet together, feet shoulder width apart, whatever you feel comfortable with, especially with how flexible your hamstrings and quads are. Uh, normally, for example, like a good morning, it's like you're focusing on keeping your back straight, not going further, but for this, it's okay to round your back as you get to the bottom. We don't want to immediately start there. So the goal is, as we're hinging from our hips, try to keep your back straight as much as you can. Get into a position where uh, that's the farthest your back can go straight. And then as we go, we slowly start to round our back, dropping our neck, dropping our head, so we can get it between our legs as low like this. And the goal is we want to hold and stay in this position. We can be more dynamic. You can like bounce with it. Right, to really just like stretch out those hamstrings. Um, you can bend your knees however much you need. And if you, you can't even get to your toes, right here is great. Just hang, have some fun with it. Right here is just still gonna do uh, wonders for you. So 30 seconds on, and let's go. Like I said, hinge from the hips, flat. Now start to round that back. There it is. And just breathe, and just relax into that. It seems counterintuitive. It's like, Greg, how is that helping with my posture? It just seems like that's even worse posture because you're really lengthening your spine when you're also really helping to stretch your legs, stretching those, uh, uh, all the muscles in your back as well. There'll be less fatigue. Uh, just, it just helps soothe them, honestly. I feel so good. I don't even want to end, but we got a couple more seconds. Three, two, one, and slowly. Stand up. Ooh, that feels, that feels pretty good. All right, next we're gonna focus on the shoulders. We have shoulder blade squeezes. There's different ways to do this as always. So feel whatever, do whatever you feel comfortable with doing. But the goal of this, just like the chest opener, we were really focusing on making sure chest was open and felt like proud. Now we're trying to make sure that focus is happening on our shoulder blades. As Coach Mayer likes to say, like pretend you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. You're gonna wanna stand as straight as you can. You wanna bring your arms to your side here, or if you feel more comfortable, you can hold them down here. I'll do both variations. This one's a little easier if uh, you have shoulder pain. I'm actually dealing with the shoulder injury, so I'm gonna start with these, but I'll show both. You're gonna put your hands to your side, elbows back. The goal is to, you just wanna bring those elbows as far back as you can while focusing on up here in these shoulder blades. Pretend that someone has a pencil that they're trying to stick here and just really focus on squeezing right up there, just like that, and release. And squeeze, 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 and release. We're gonna put 30 seconds on, I'll show both variations, and let's go. Again, so here, squeeze, Again, mind-body connection is everything. So focus, that squeeze on between the shoulder blades, just like that. If you want your hands up, there you go. Just squeeze it back. I have to kind of go to the side so you can see. Again, standing tall. Like we're really focusing on those shoulder blades. Let's do one more. And again, don't, don't go beyond what you're capable of. Like don't try to, we don't want to tweak anything in your back. This shouldn't be taxing, this should, this should feel good. One more, three, two, and one. All right, last but not least, we have chin tucks. If you have a wall, feel free to stand up. Make sure your shoulder blades are touching the wall, uh, feet as well, the back of your heels touching the wall as well. All we're doing is focusing on uh, the cervical spine right up here, your neck. You're just gonna want to have your neck forward as much as you can. We're gonna over-exaggerate just so you can see, but you wanna, as you're standing up tall, extend your neck as far as you can. I know this looks weird. And all we're doing is pushing our chin back. Just like that. If you're gonna look super weird, it's gonna like, wait, where'd my chin go? Exactly. That's the point of this, is really just helps if you have neck pain, things like that, the over-exaggerations of the uh, movements just really help. It's almost like, a, not a chiropractor, but just like doing a forward fold, uh, really stretches out your back, um, like all, all the muscles and stuff, it's the same thing with your neck. We don't usually put it through that range of motion as much, so the goal is really just to as forward as we can, and really as far back as we can. 
But again, go at your own pace. We don't want you to get hurt here. If you, if you feel any pain, stop doing it, but you shouldn't. This feels really good. 30 seconds on, and here we go. So stand up tall, extend your chin forward, and really focus on pushing it back. You don't have to use my finger. This just helps me, you know, push, but you can literally just pull it back. Just feel it back here. And if you're up against the wall, uh, when you're in this position, your head will be off. But then as you come back, you should feel your head um, hit, uh, hit the back of the wall. Just don't do it too hard. There you go. A couple more seconds. Over exaggerate forward. And you're done. You're done. <laughs> all right, now that you know all those posture exercises, let's put it all together for this second set. Grab some water, do what you gotta do, but we are jumping into that right now. Take note of the time right now so you can come back to this moment to keep doing these sets over and over and over again. But without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, we're going right into sun salutations. Get ready, ground yourself, stand tall, stand proud. Here we go. 30 seconds on, and we're reaching up, stretching, pulling those shoulder blades back down to the ground, and we're right back up. One more. You're doing amazing. There it is. Feel that stretch. Great job. Next, you got the standing chest stretch. Again, stand up tall. Feel good. Move the shoulders, move that chest a little bit. Here we go. Again, you can just hold your hands up here like this, or you can hold them behind you. I like to do this because it helps me pull back my shoulders. Here we go. 30 seconds, and we off to the races. All right, pull the shoulders back. Open that chest, make sure you're breathing. You can just stay there, or you can kind of do it more dynamic like I am. One more. There we go. We're going right into forward fold. This should feel good. Remember to bend those knees how much you need to. Uh, here we go, 30 seconds on. Go, hinge, slowly round the back, bring the head down the neck. Kind of bounce here. You need to put your hands under your feet, you can. Even if you can only go here to your, um, your thighs, your shins, whatever you feel comfortable with. The goal is we just wanna just want to bend, we just want to hang here. Let gravity do the work. Why, are, why, you don't have to do the work. Let gravity do it. That's what it's here for. There it is. Bounce. A couple more seconds here. Oh yeah. That hits the spot. Three, two, and one. Roll up like a zombie. We good. Next, we have some shoulder blade squeezes. You know the deal. You feeling good? You feeling, my posture has improved. I feel like I've gained at least five inches. Maybe not, we'll see. But here we go, shoulder blade stretches or squeezes. 30 seconds on, and let's go. Hands out to the side. Squeeze that pencil, or pen, whatever you prefer. <laughs> Maybe a Sharpie, dry erase marker. Again, if you want to keep your hands more up, you can. There it is. Remember, focus on squeezing those shoulder blades together. Couple more. Three, two, squeeze, 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 and release. Good job, guys. We, we, we crushing this. All right, we have chin tucks. Last one. This is the fun one that makes you look weird. You just walked around doing that all day, but I. Trust me, you are gonna feel so much better after doing these. All right, again, if you have a wall, use that wall. If you can just stand up straight, do whatever you need to do. Here we go, again, intention is what matters with these, and we're focusing on the cervical spine up here. So here we go, 30 seconds on. Over-exaggerate the head forward, 
and push that chin back. Almost there. Let's do one more. Stretch, stretch. And push, push back. There you go. And release. I don't know about you. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, feel, I'm feeling loose, you know? I feel like that really helped. And here's the thing. You can do this throughout your day, you know? Again, if these are just like 30 seconds of each. You can do shorter amount of times, right? You don't want to be standing like this for like three minutes. That's not going to help you. That's going to end up hurting you in the long run. But you can do light stretches 30 seconds on you know loosen up move around maybe another 30 seconds whatever you feel comfortable with and again you can do this first thing in the morning you can do this right before you go to bed you can do this during uh you know your work day maybe you have like five minutes to get up and stretch and that's the thing when it comes to posture if you're in a one position for too long your muscles get set tired but if you move around it kind of tells your body all right they're still using these muscles let's make sure they're still limber and flexible just in case they need to like sprint and do something so that's the goal with these. That was your best exercises for posture. I hope you liked it. And if you enjoyed these type of videos about posture or things like that, just comment, let us know, give us feedback. We are here for you and that's the whole point of this. So make sure you like, share with some friends, click the notification bell to stay on top of any new videos dropping. Um, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you feel blessed, I hope you feel good. Hope that really helped you. Uh, I'm Coach Greg, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.